Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Speaking of chips, everyone knows that this is a core product in the high tech field, and countries around the world are vying for dominance. The United States has been blocking China's chip industry for several years using a series of means from export restrictions to technology bans. But do you think the blockade really works? The fact is that after a long time of struggling, the United States big companies began to collapse, while the Chinese chip industry became more and more courageous and ushered in new breakthroughs. Recently, a senior executive of TSMC also came out to say a few words, directly pointing out the reasons behind the failure of the United States to block Chinese chips. As soon as these words came out, they immediately sparked heated discussions. The US blockade of China's chip industry can be traced back to 2018. At that time, the US government saw that China's technology industry was developing rapidly, especially in the field of chips, and began to trip it up. What exactly is the trip? First, it banned domestic companies from exporting high-end chips to China and then forced global chip manufacturers to stop supplying China. The most famous case is Huawei. In 2019, the U.S. sanctions on Huawei can be said to be a life-or-death catastrophe. Not only did it cut off the chip supply chain, but it also restricted technical cooperation and even forced Huawei's mobile phone business into trouble for a time. The United States made a good calculation, thinking that China would stagnate without chip supply. But who knew that the development of things was completely beyond their expectations? Let's take a look at the situation in the United States first. As soon as the blockade policy came out, American companies suffered first. For example, Intel, once the big brother of the global chip industry, turned in a jaw-dropping financial report in the third quarter of 2020 for a loss of 16.6 billion US dollars. This is the largest loss in its 56 years of establishment. Why is it losing so much? It's simple. Intel was originally an important supplier in the Chinese market. Now it has suddenly cut off its business and its revenue has dropped by 40%. How can it not lose money? Not only Intel, but also cheap equipment suppliers such as LAM Research, Kele Tankor and Applied Materials in the United States are not having a good time. A large part of their business is supported by the Chinese market. As a result, the blockade caused the stock price to plummet by 25% to 35%. Such a large drop has made shareholders feel overwhelmed, and they even questioned whether the US government's blockade policy is digging its own grave. The self-injury on the US side is just the beginning, and the more exciting thing is on the Chinese side. Faced with such a blockade, the Chinese chip industry did not sit idly by, but started a self-reliance mode. Especially Huawei, this company is really tough. In the years after the sanctions, Huawei not only did not fall, but gradually recovered its vitality with its self-developed chips and operating systems. In recent years, Huawei's mobile phone business has risen again, not only with strong sales in the domestic market, but also grabbing a part of the overseas market. At the same time, the Chinese government has not been idle. From policies to funds, waves of support have been thrown at the chip industry. For example, encourage companies to increase R&D investment and support the coordinated development of upstream and downstream of the chip industry chain. These policies have been effective and Chinese chip companies have begun to make breakthroughs in various fields such as design, manufacturing, and packaging. 
The most eye-catching one is SMIC. The company has successfully mastered the manufacturing technology of 7 nanometer chips, which is a key step in high-end chip manufacturing. Not only that, Chinese chip companies have also shown amazing competitiveness in the field of mature processes. Not only are they low cost, but they are also of high quality and have directly snatched a lot of international market share. So why is the US blockade so ineffective? Recently, TSMC executive Yang Guanglei said something that directly hit the core of the problem. He mentioned that there are three main reasons why the Chinese chip industry can withstand the pressure. First, the Chinese market is too big. As the world's largest chip consumer, China's annual demand for chips accounts for a large proportion. This cake is so tempting that even if American companies want to block it, they can't completely give up the Chinese market. The result is that once the blockade is implemented, American companies themselves can't stand it. China has its own unique advantages in chip manufacturing. Yang Guanglei specifically mentioned that China's corporate culture and employees' professionalism are difficult for American companies to match. In an industry like chip manufacturing that requires high precision and high discipline, Chinese employees are highly efficient and have strong execution capabilities, which enables China to quickly catch up with the international level in the field of chip manufacturing. The most important point is that China is very determined to achieve chip independence. No matter how the United States blocks it, Chinese companies have not retreated but have redoubled their efforts in research and development. Coupled with the government's policy support and the coordinated advancement of the entire industrial chain, China's chip industry can rise rapidly in just a few years. The United States originally thought that it could strangle China's chip industry with blockades, but the result was that China became more and more courageous, broke the technological blockade, and established its own chip industry system. On the other hand, the United States, on the contrary, suffered heavy losses in its own companies due to the blockade policy, and even began to doubt the rationality of this policy. In any case, the rise of China's chip industry has indeed given many people hope. The blockade drama of the United States has become a joke.